so for today's video, we're gonna turn this little kitty face into a 3D printed planter. And this is a collaboration with Curtis Allison because he's gonna 3D model, print, and then I'm gonna paint the figure. The finished product will be listed on Etsy, so if you guys are interested, I will put it on my Etsy shop that I'm working on a shop. On the long term though, I think I do want to make my own shop on like my website that I need to like work on because I have not worked on it at all. <laughs> Hopefully in the future, you guys can go to dollylife.com and then actually like I have my own website, but I have not worked on it at all. <laughs> so for now, I did make a little Etsy shop. I'm trying to put items on there but I, I, I really want to like make characters and then like I'm like really inspired by uh, I growing up. I really like Sanrio. So I and then I like a lot even as an adult now, I like I, I bought a bunch of Sanrio stuff. So if, if you know Sanrio, it's like Hello Kitty, it's Pachaco, it's like all this stuff. So part of me wants to like make my characters and then I make a bunch of merch. Make it myself, though, personally, because I know a little bit of sewing. I know a little bit of painting. I know a little bit of everything that I was like, I'd be awesome if I could make everything and then like sell it if you guys are interested in buying. I know times right now are hard because recession slash I don't even know, you know, times are hard. So I understand if you cannot buy from me, but I will have my little shop that I'm going to try to like slowly but surely like put items on right now. It's only an Etsy shop. Hopefully in the future is my actual website that I need to work on because I have not. <laughs> yeah, so Curtis is going to model it and make it as similar as possible as the drawing that I made. I should have recorded the process of me drawing the kitty face. I wasn't thinking about uh, sharing you guys sharing with you guys like the process of everything. But then later I was like, oh, it would be awesome if I did. We're going to go ahead and 3D print it. <laughs> And it's gonna take about like 16 hours to print. It, it takes a long time, especially with the nozzle head. Uh, I think this one was 0.6, and the we tried with one point. We actually printed a first one prior. I wanted to make some changes, so we reprinted it. But this one's bigger. The other one I we printed was smaller. It was kind of like a what is it a not the final one. Sometimes it's like the trial version. That the trial version I kept. But I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the powder that is residual from like the little things that I sanded off. And I'm going to go ahead and prep it to get painted. I'm actually using the surface primer. I mean, it's not necessary. I don't know. I just like it. So I'm going to use it for the most part. I could have printed the figure in white and probably saved myself from having to paint the whole thing. But I actually enjoy painting it. So yeah, there's that. And if you guys are wondering about polymer clay, I will do a polymer clay video for the next video. I'm not going to tell you for what. Actually, I don't know if I should tell you guys. No, I'm not going to tell you guys. Maybe I should actually. It's going to be Sonic if you guys. <laughs> it's going to be Sonic. Uh, you guys seem to really, really like uh, the first Sonic one. So I want to make a second Sonic one. So yeah, but I, I figured I can alternate between polymer clay and then other crafts that I liked that I want to do and then I want to record myself doing. And I think 3D printing is fascinating. I do think it's the future and um, I've even seen there's like 3D printed houses. Uh, I want to make an Adobe house. I don't know how that would work with 3D printing if that's the case, but I want to build my own Adobe house. If that's if I ever do that, si os quiere, I will, which is what is it? Si os quiere is like God willing or something like that in Spanish, in English. <laughs> but um, I want to build an Adobe house like for for real, for real. But um, I would love to record the process. I don't know how it would work, but I definitely would upload that more on my vlog channel. Yeah, I think 3D printing is fascinating. I think they were even saying like 3D printing organs. I'm not sure. It's like gets like really interesting. For like a I don't know. We have the machine here, so I'm like, let's do it. So it's just a matter of like trying to figure out like, what do I want to print? And recently I've been wanting to print a bunch of planners. Uh, I'll show you guys at the end of the video, some of the 3D printed planners uh, we've printed and I have on my shop if you're interested in. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and actually I on here, it, it seems like I just did one coat for the most part. 
some of these I had to go over a couple times, like two to three times to get like a solid color. My favorite paint to paint uh, these figures are though with a uh, folk art, the brand. That's really my favorite paint, honestly. Curtis uh, tried to use uh, Craftsmart. It, it, it's more liquidy. I really like full cart for painting. Some of these uh, in the mouth right here, sometimes I would water it down with, oh my gosh, I would water it down with water, you guys. <laughs> Uh, the paint sometimes I would water it down for like the shading and same with the polymer clay literally the same process I use for polymer clay painting is the same process that I used for the 3d figures the 3d printed object right here and I am so happy of how I came out uh she was this character is inspired by my child and she was so cute here's like a in progress it's not final but i want to go back and fix any imperfections but definitely this character is, is inspired by my child and i have other characters that I, I i like i made a little alligator and then i made another one that's like a seraphim or something like that i don't know it has like a, it's an eye with like six wings and then i'm working on other characters so yeah, hopefully like once I get it together, I have a, like my whole website and then I have like like a whole situation of like cute characters with like different things. And I'm also like, I could even make like shirts and stuff. Cause like, I know how to sew. Well, I'm not like the best sewer out there, but I definitely like, uh, I don't know. It's just like, I'm like, I wanna do like a whole thing. I feel like the future for all of us is like creating our own little businesses so and then everybody has their skills of like what they can create so i i personally love etsy because there's like a bunch of little like art artists but it's also nice but i think like etsy takes i don't know it's just like a they take more of a cut i don't know so i feel like the future is all of us like having our own little companies and stuff so yeah work on your craft whatever it is i will do a double i painted two uh coats of gloss over the whole figure for protection it's like polyurethane from um what i read on the container i have other ones that i've planted and they've kept up well so far so i'm pretty happy with the results and i'm gonna glaze all of it just in case and here's my child and here is the final result i didn't put a plant in there because like i want to put it up for sale so obviously i don't want to dirty it for you guys if you guys are interested <laughs> here's the one that i printed off for myself and then i was like literally i was like okay well, let's because it's usually like a trial one that we print out before we print like the final just to see if there's any imperfections and there was so i decided to keep the smaller one and here's some other planters that i have here's like a self-watering one i think it's pretty cute we printed it out sometimes curtis designs it and then i'm just like let me paint it and then i come up with my own painting designs here's another one he printed out and then i painted i have them all in the etsy shop if you guys are interested but next video is a polymer clay video but i did want to include like every now and then like different um art stuff uh because i like making different things i don't like to make the same thing over and over and over um i love polymer clay but i also love painting and then i also love like fabrics and i also love like <laughs> everything <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i hope you guys have an awesome day bye